All right, here we are again, running some errands, picking up a small Target order. <laughs> I've been doing very small um, Target pickup orders whenever I can think of things that we need um, for our trip and, well, things in general. But also, I keep getting Target Circle bonuses, which is such a blessing. And so I just got another $25 bonus. And so I got Sydney and I, we both needed new socks um, because the socks that Sydney has are like thick winter socks. And she needed regular ones i needed socks um some makeup wipes and a pair of like biker shorts so just ready to grab a very quick target pickup order i want to also run to sephora and there is a um and i think it's called Ilia. i hope i'm pronouncing that right the skin like serum foundation that has spf in it and i really really want to try it and bring it to florida with me and also it sounds like it would be a really good like summertime thing and so i want to see if they will give me a sample of it a to match my color and b to kind of test it out as well and then i want to run to trader joe's and pick up just a small order not like a giant haul like i usually do but i hopefully <laughs> but i do want to grab some stuff at um trader joe's as well so come along with me we're just going to run some errands it is a chilly damp rainy day today so a perfect day to get out of the house and run some errands and take you guys along with me i picked up my order i always say i don't need a bag because i have a million and it saves me a few cents so i got a travel size makeup wipes sydney needed like I said, socks, um, some biker shorts, and I needed socks as well. Please don't mind my hands in this video because I self-tanned yesterday and didn't wash it off. And so I don't really care. <laughs> it's going to look like that. All right, very quickly, I wanted to run to Staples because my mom said that they have some kids' luggage here that was really cute. And I'm thinking we might need a carry-on this year, but I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I see this, but I'm gonna go check to see if they have any other ones, like any other kids. She already has a neck pillow. It's cute. It's like the perfect little size. They also have this one, but I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna get it today. I don't even know how much this one is. It says as low as 50, but my mom said they were cheaper at her store. Anyway, I think we're gonna leave now. It is cute. Okay, so they only had that one, well, I guess technically two options for carry-ons for like kid ones. I didn't see any prices, but it said as low as 50 and I'm not spending 50 on that um but i am debating on bringing a carry-on this year i've never in the history of me traveling brought a carry-on uh it's it's just as expensive as like a checked luggage anyway because i think since it's a long trip that we're taking i think we're going to be borderline hating the minimum or maximum um weight and also i don't have a large suitcase and so it would kind of free up some space if i brought a carry-on so i'm debating on doing that and if i can find i don't know a cheaper one or like a cute kids one or something maybe i will do that uh home goods or tj maxx would be a nice place to check maybe they have luggage i can always look on amazon as well but i am still debating i have been weighing my suitcase to see how close we are to the weight limit. I don't know, like at this point, I almost might as well, that way you don't have to stress about it and I can just throw whatever I want in there um, and not really worry about the weight. So I'll probably do that. All right, now I'm gonna go to the mall and go to Sephora and hopefully grab a sample of that serum.
was able to get my sample. They matched my color mash, matched my chest. Um, Amber was so nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try and make sure it's something that I want to buy a full size of. That way I don't waste any product. Now I'm just gonna check out Lululemon even though I have no intentions of buying anything even though I want it all. I love this color, wow. So good. Really happy I have a sample um, and then if I like it I'm just gonna go ahead and like order it real quick I just didn't want to get a whole thing and not like it and waste product or money or anything um, she they color matched they were able to color match my chest by just taking the two pictures of the chest they do it like on that little handheld device and seems to be it seems to match perfectly so that's another reason why I wanted the sample to make sure that the color was good um the Ilya skin tint is supposed to be it has SPF 40 in it and it's supposed to be like even toned but lightweight and dewy or lightweight coverage which I feel like is going to be perfect for Florida I don't want to be like heavy I don't want to just have heavy makeup on but also the SPF on my face is going to be necessary so happy about that now I'm going to run, I'm very tempted to run to Dick's Sporting Goods real quick. I think I'm going to do that. So I made a pit stop at Dick's Sporting Goods. There was, I wanted some athletic gear. Um, I recently got myself a gym membership and I have no gym clothes. And also um, I can repurpose. So I got myself like an oversized tee and some athletic shorts. And I also wanted those because um, I want to bring them on vacation. So um, now I'm going to head to Trader Joe's. <laughs> Before we popped into Trader Joe's, I just was checking my emails and Sephora, um, when you do the skin tint or skin tint, when you do the skin IQ and figure out your shade for things, they send you an email and I'm just laughing because it says my hydration is low, which I know my skin is always so dry and I need to be better at using my skincare. I've been just slacking. I did put moisturizer on yesterday though, so... <laughs> Anyway, I need to get better at that, but it just does confirm to me what my concerns are. And back home, I'm going to share with you what I got from Trader Joe's. It was about $84 with tax. Uh, it's usually double that when I do my Trader Joe's runs. But today, I just wanted to stock up on mostly snacks and then a couple of freezer items that um, we ran out of. So I am out or almost out of seltzer. So I got my favorite blueberry lemonade or blueberry lemon. Yeah, blueberry lemonade. I usually get that um, every time I go. So I grabbed a bunch of snacks for Sydney. We have some apple mango applesauce pouches, some multigrain crackers. This, holy cow, brand new. It sounds absolutely delicious. And my idea for this, hopefully it stays good long enough, is for Easter breakfast. It's a cinnamon cinnamon twist danish and it has apparently like a custard style filling it is ginormous but i am certain sydney and i will enjoy this there now you can see it a little bit better in the light it says april 1st so hopefully this is still good for easter we're only a couple of days away but you know how pastries go i had to it was one of those impulse purchases that sounded delicious and i also <laughs> grabbed some lemon scones. I'm on a lemon kick right now and I pretty much have been ever since I had Sydney. Um, 
I want to break into those right now. Like a lemon scone with a coffee in the morning just sounds so delicious. I have some frozen items. We have some vegetable fried rice and my favorite chicken less made or an orange chicken. I'm actually going to make this for dinner tonight. I love this as an easy dinner. Um, fettuccine Alfredo frozen meal. I'm thinking when I, when we come back from vacation, I'm going to want to make sure that I have some easy things that I can prep and make when we get back. So I'm going to save that. Uh, some more snacks. We have the inner peas, crunchy baked pea snacks that he enjoys so much. Um, and then some freeze dried fruits. We have freeze dried strawberries and banana slices. This was something I've never purchased, but I was actually looking for the Philly cheesesteak bao buns and I did not see them. Um, and so I grabbed Sydney these. These are just frozen mini cheeseburgers. I don't know, something different for her to have possibly in school lunch. She absolutely loves cheeseburgers and I don't make them at home because I don't eat meat and I don't know how. So whenever we go out to eat or if there's, you know, burgers for school lunch she always opts for them and so i thought that would be a nice little treat for her hopefully they're good we have some mini cucumbers for snacking some tabbouleh salad that sounded delicious it has um what does it have red onion tomato cracked bulgur, bulgur wheat um lemon juice pepper spices hopefully that's good I have some watermelon. Sydney's on a huge Caesar salad kick, so I thought I would go ahead and uh, get her a kit and pack that in her school lunch for possibly tomorrow. I have some frozen silver dollar pancakes. We just ran out yesterday, so I went ahead and grabbed two boxes of those. We have some yogurt, some peaches and cream, and mangoes and cream. Sydney's favorite flavor of those and then a bunch of snacks like I always grab whenever I do a Trader Joe's run I have some fruits balls these are delicious these are like date balls that have some nice yummy fillings in them we have a bunch of fruit bars and then a couple of fruit buttons like fruit leather buttons and um Sydney really likes these we just ran out the other day so that is what I picked up at Trader Joe's. I'm going to go ahead and put these away and possibly snack on one of those scones. Okay, I have you sitting on my paper towel roll because I don't know where my little tripod is. But I want to try a lemon scone. I didn't eat lunch. It's 2 o'clock. I wasn't hungry um, until right now. And so I'm just going to have like some, a snack. These look so good. Coated in icing. Hopefully they are. Mmm. Mmm. Very tangy from the lemon. Soft, not as dry as some scones. Obviously scones are meant to be a little bit dry. Okay, it does have some zest in there if you don't like that texture, but so good. I definitely recommend if you like lemon. I picked Sydney up from school and she has a gift card to Walmart from her birthday to spend. And since it's a rainy day, she said she wants to spend that right now. <laughs> a rocket toss. More stuffies. She's very excited and says this is the best. She's getting so much stuff. Because I am. She's got, wait, her ball, the kitty, and she says she has, we have about a dollar left, so she's going to get a snack. Why are snacks one, this is so weird. Why are big things worth less money and, and less things less and, and big money because why cannot less just be less money like why i know why? it doesn't make sense huh wow she said mom i saw something worth a dollar she's I said she's gonna pick an apple food would be one for a dollar that would be ridiculous. you want an apple wait how are you gonna eat it you're gonna have to wait till we get home to eat it she has a front tooth that's loot your tooth that could be 
be for you, maybe. I don't know. I can bite it up, or I can cut it up at home so you could eat it. Okay, wait, this is so strange. Why this long? That's worth more money. This is so, so hard. What? Why is that worth more money? Because it's not big. I know. She's why? she's like, why is this cost this more than this? Money. This is smaller. This should cost more money, not that. All right, final decision she made, instead of the whole apple, because I have to slice it up, she found these for $1.47, so she's gonna have apples and peanut butter. Are you very happy with your choices? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go home. We came home right after Walmart, and it was time to make dinner, so I went ahead and made that Trader Joe's vegetable fried rice, and the chickenless mandarin orange chicken for dinner, and Sydney already has it at the table. I'm gonna go ahead and join her, scarf it down, 